Sorry. My mind wandered again. Where did you go? Home. To my parents' house, actually. It's been so long since I... I can't wait for them to see how much I've grown. That's sweet. But you still haven't answered my question. I'm in your office, on your couch, surrounded by your many pillows. Why do you have so many pillows? Have your episodes gotten better? Yeah. As a matter of fact, they have. We're only halfway through the season, but the episodes just keep getting better and better. You're supposed to take this seriously. Sorry. Sorry. I just don't like talking about it. I understand why you don't want to talk about it with most people, but I'm not most people. I'm here to help. The visions aren't getting better, but they're not getting worse. Is this the same one as before? No. They're always different. I'll just be going about my day, and then for a split second, all I see is me hurting people. What was today's episode about? So this new detective on this show was having a really tough time solving this case. That's not funny. Not even a little. Don't awkward silence me. Come on, you know I hate that. All right. Fine. You win. I give up. Whenever you're ready. Did you hear about Patrick? Yeah, he was cutting corners. Oh my god. Did you hear that Patrick was cutting corners? He was cutting corners? Hello? Bossman wants to see it. Why? I don't know, something about cutting corners or something. Oh, shit. How does he know? Look, he could be bluffing. Just don't let him push you around, okay? I'm lost. I had just been promoted to a management position and was put in charge of a project. I may not have done things the way the boss wanted, but I had to get the job done on time. Mr. Williams, do you know why I've asked you into my office today? Because, uh, you're doing such a good job at the new position. There's a reason why I asked you to fill out those reports in that order, Mr. Williams. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. The advanced sales report, Patrick. I know you cut corners. Sir. <laughs> Sir. I'm so sorry. This will never happen again. If you could just look- I've spent too much time tweaking the standard operating procedures to ensure that this place runs smoothly. Thank God it was brought to my attention. Otherwise, you would have done some real damage to my perfect system. I was just trying to get the project done on time, sir. I know. That's why I'm not firing you. You're demoted, Patrick. Your pay's already been adjusted. Sir, please. So get out of my office. Sir. I made it impossible to find. And I only told one person about it. Oh, and tell your buddy Jeremy that I want to meet him in here. A new position just became available. I think he would make a great candidate. Wouldn't you agree? Hey, Patty Cakes. I snapped out of the vision standing over his desk. I told him the boss wanted to see him and left. 
It is perfectly normal to wish harm on someone. You don't have to be ashamed. No, you don't understand. I saw it happen. I saw him beg for mercy. I saw his blood on my hands. Is everything okay? You keep looking at that mirror. Is someone watching us? I need you to look at your hands again. Really look at them. What's going on? Is there someone else here? You are so close to a breakthrough. What breakthrough? We haven't even talked about why I'm having these thoughts. I need you to think back to this morning before you came in to work. You got a phone call. Do you remember what it was about? It was, it was the wrong number. It was from the police. There was an accident. No, it was the wrong number. It was about your parents. They were driving home. A semi ran the red light. Ah! parents were in an accident this morning, Patrick. Their death pushed you over the edge. I didn't come home for Christmas. That's why you lost control today with Jeremy. I didn't come home for Christmas. I know. And I'm sorry. And that wasn't your fault. But I need you to think back to the office this morning. The vision. I killed him. I killed Jeremy. Good. Now where are you right now? I'm in an interrogation room. There's a metal table in front of me. Handcuffed. Good. Good. I'm glad you've come to terms with reality. It's the first step in getting you the help that you need. I'm going to step out for a moment. I'll be right back. Are you going to be okay? Patrick? Sorry. My mind wandered again. Do you know where you are? <laughs> I'm in your office. On your couch, surrounded by all your pillows. Why do you have so many pillows? I'm sorry, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs>